According to a study by the Lenskold Group and MarketSphere, 65% of marketers must show return on investment in order to secure their budgets. But there are some major barriers. Companies often lack the right technology to collect the right data. If you're interested in a technology that can help measure and improve ROI and do it passively, non-verbally, and objectively, then please take a moment to watch this message from Toby, the world leader in eye-tracking technology. In a Marketing Sherpa online advertising survey of over 950 marketers and agency professionals, respondents were asked, which tests improve ROI? Eye tracking was ranked second place. 64% of the respondents stated that testing with eye tracking improves return on investment. In a collaboration on point of purchase marketing between two internationally renowned business schools, Inseed and Wharton, their conclusions were, it has been difficult to measure the return on these investments because few data and methods are available. But they also say that commercial eye tracking data can provide this type of decomposition. As it turns out, eye tracking can measure and improve ROI because it tells you exactly what people look at and for how long. Toby Technologies eye tracking technology has been used to improve package design, in this case leading to a 15% sales growth. It has been used in an IBM email campaign to increase conversions by 60%, and it nearly doubled revenue for a key promotional campaign for Sprint. In 2008, the shopping research firm Red Dot Square bought 50 Toby eye trackers. Immediately afterwards, Red Dot Square was bought by WPP, the owner of marketing and advertising giants such as TNS and Ogilvy. Nine of the top ten global brands use eye tracking. It is now evident that the eye tracking revolution of market research has begun. If you were involved in testing or optimizing packaging, online marketing, print ads, email campaigns, commercials, or sponsoring, then contact us now to schedule a Toby eye tracking demonstration. Because if you can't measure something, you can't improve it, and you can't put a value on it.